Hi everyone, so today I'm just going to be giving you a quick demonstration on using this butterfly die that we've got coming up in the Mixed Media Textures collection by Imagination Crafts. Now I have loved using this die purely because I like the light bulb element in the centre and it's got a really nice steampunk rustic feel to it and I think it will work really well on all of your mixed media projects. So what I'm going to be doing today is using the finger waxes and some of the acrylic paints to decorate this up and just show you how easy it is to actually get that really nice textured rustic look using all of these products. So first thing what I'm going to do is take a little bit of my gold finger wax and I'm going to start from the centre of the wings and just brush it out. Now if you're using a flat brush to this, you can use a stipple brush or you could water it down depending on what brush you're wanting to use, but using it this way gives a really nice intense colour. So, and also as well, with them being water based, you can mix them together, you can put them in other mediums that you've got as well, so that you can get these colours with either your pastes, all of those sorts of things. So, I'm then going to go into copper on the edges and start to ombre that in. And it gives such a nice effect, they work together so well and they just blend beautifully. And I'll just do the other side. And already I've almost fully decorated up this butterfly and it's it's so easy to do. And with it being like a pearlescent finish in your finger waxes, it really stands out when it catches the light. So if I just show you there, that's the butterfly wings there already decorated up. Now what I'm going to do is do the screw section on the on the uh, light bulb and then I'm going to do the filament as well inside the bulb. So I'll move it here because I've got quite a bit of wax there going on. So if I just clean some of that up, and because it's water based it's so easy to clean up. But also once it's dry it'll set on any of your mixed media projects whether it's furniture or canvases. So it's such a versatile product. I'm then going to go in with just a paintbrush and I've got a little bit of my yellow acrylic here out and I'm going to use a bit of water just to water it down so it's a bit more runny consistency so I can not get such a strong pigment with that and I'm going to brush it just over the bulb just like that really easy to do and then I'm going to take a bit of my silver wax and I'm going to go in around the metal screw section and just brush it over and all of these waxes you don't have to be too precious with it either all of these waxes as you're going up to the edges they just marry up together and give a nice seamless blend so you've not got no sharp edges to the painting or anything like that. So for now, that's that one done. I've then got this one here I've cut out of construction board and this is the one that's going to go behind that butterfly. So what I'm going to do with this one is just take my gold, mix a little bit of my copper in with it so it's got a slight different colour to the one on the top, take a bit more copper. And that's given us a really nice antique gold look. And I'm going to completely brush over all of the wings on this one. I'm not going to paint the light bulb on this one, so it doesn't matter if I go slightly over it. And give it a nice even coating. You can speed up the drying processes with these waxes with a hairdryer, but they do dry fairly quickly. But the, uh, they do work well, like I say, with all of your other products. So it is really good for your mixed media projects. So that's that one already done, and you can see it's much more of like an aged gold look. And for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to give it a quick blast with the hair dryer. So I'll only do it on both of them. So for this light bulb one here, I do want to highlight some of the embossing lines in there just to give the definition of the filament inside the bulb. So I've just taken a fine liner and I'm going to go really carefully just around the edges and some of the filament sections. I'm going to ever so slightly line in, almost like it would be with a stamp, but we don't want to completely cover it, but we just want to give it a little bit of definition. and also on the screw thread of the bulb, some of those lines as well. We can really dig into the embossing line and just a little bit of ink from the pen will pick up those little bits of detail. And then for the final section, I'm gonna bend out these wings just a little bit. I don't need to use a ball tool or anything because it's, I've done this on cardstock, this one, so it's much softer. And then the one on the bottom, I'm going to apply just a small amount of hot glue to the centre. You could use silicon gel for this, but I've done it with the hot glue just for the quickness of the uh, process. 
And if I then stick that down in the centre, lift up these wings just a little bit, add a bit more hot glue under there to give a bit of stability for the wings so they don't flop straight down and I'll hold them up as it sets. Here we are. Just blow on that to cool the hot glue a little bit. And as you can see there, those two dies have come together to create a really nice 3D butterfly. And this would look really nice on all of your canvases, all your mixed media projects, and also cards as well. So a really nice high detailed piece that's so easy to achieve. Thank you for watching.